What's up, witches? I'm Casey. Welcome to Bewitching Beauty. Before we jump into it, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave me a comment down below. Don't forget to hit the like button because it only takes two seconds for you to hit it and it does help my channel. So do it. Do it right now. So let's jump into it. If you read the title of this video, today is going to be my August BoxyCharm unboxing. Obviously, I don't know anybody who gets BoxyCharm who's ever like disappointed with what they get in their box. I am sometimes envious of the people who get the premium boxes, like, mm, what was it, last month, the month before when the Manny MUA X Morphe palette was in there? But you know what? That is a fairly inexpensive palette. And if I desperately wanted it, I suppose I could go buy it for myself. But I am stubborn. Of course, here we are today doing the standard box from BoxyCharm, which I'm always happy with. I don't really have any complaints at all. So I'm very excited to jump into this. I really love the look that I came up with today. The lip decision was a little bit of a struggle. You will see if you stick around to the end when I start fighting with all of the lipsticks. But that's not now, that's then. So if you wanna see how I got this look and you wanna see all the items I got in my boxy charm this month, stick around. Okay, so like you will have heard in my intro, today is a boxy charm unboxing. Now, I will not lie to you, I have tested a couple of these products so far since I got the box Monday and tested some of them out yesterday because I had a meeting and I didn't feel like filming before my Zoom call. So I just went ahead and did my makeup really quick and you've been warned, I have used some of these things already. And I already kind of have an established opinion of those things that I tested. So I suppose that's one good thing about testing them first and then talking to you guys about them. Of course, here is my box. I get the standard box again, like I said, in my July BoxyCharm unboxing. I don't really feel the need to upgrade at this point. I'm really happy with, a, I mean, Honestly, some of the products that I use in my day-to-day -day are things that I got from BoxyCharm over the last, oh, I don't know, year, two years, I don't know. I'm gonna be using a couple of those from my old BoxyCharm, so I will mention which items I'm using today that are from previous BoxyCharms as well. Let's go ahead and run through the items that I got this month. And this month, I remembered to keep the little sheet that kind of gives you the breakdown of how much things cost MSRP. Let's go ahead and take a look at what I received this month. Every month they let you choose one of your items. So this month the item that I chose was the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer. The Too Faced Born This Way Concealer, okay I'm sorry, Born This Way Super Coverage Concealer. Conceal, contour, highlight, retouch, blah, 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 natural finish, etc., etc., etc. There were not a huge selection of colors by the time I chose mine. So I actually got the very lightest shade, and shockingly enough, it is too light for me. For me. The shade that I did end up getting is Cloud. It is very pretty. It would be great for under eye highlighting, but this would not be a color that I would take kind of in the broader areas of my face like I normally do. So I will use this today, but mostly just for like right, right here on my under eyes where I want to kind of brighten that area a little bit. The MSRP on this one is $29. And given that the box is only $25, already we're in the black. So let's go ahead and look at the next item. The next item I received is the Violet Voss Essential 2 Pro Series. This is an eyeshadow slash pigment palette, which means that some of these are, I think it's the FDA that approves them. So some of these colors are eye safe and some of these are considered not eye safe, which, you know, the long and short of it is the ones that are not considered eye safe will leave staining on your lids. If you're an avid makeup lover, generally speaking, I don't fucking care, but you know, if you do, Keep that in mind. This one retails for $36 normally, and there are 10 shades in this palette. 
the next item that I received was the, I think that this is probably pronounced Tristique, and it is 246 matte lip crayons. Now, I'm, I don't know, I, I have not tried this one yet, so I don't know, maybe these are like God's gift. They come like open like a crayon box you know what I mean where you just sort of open the cardboard at the top and then the crayons kind of come out so it's a little concerning to me that there is no way to close these or protect these unless I'm wrong ah oh I'm so wrong <laughs> they snap off okay that that makes a lot more sense no sense at all it's way better I was very concerned that there would be this kind of like I was very concerned that there was this tip on it that I could just like mess all up. So I'm wrong. Forget I said that. So we'll be trying these today and it does come with six colors. Two are kind of nudes. One is a pink. There's a berry and then kind of a bright red and a dark red. We'll be including that today in the review. On that note, the MSRP is $58. So... I mean, I hope they change my life because that's really expensive. So there's that. Moving on. The next item that I got was the Thank Me Later Eyeshadow Primer by Elizabeth Mott. I did try this one out yesterday. I didn't have any complaints. I didn't wear the makeup for an exceptionally long period of time. So I'm gonna obviously be using that today with the Violet Boss Eyeshadow and we will see how it goes. This one also retails for $20. The last item that I got was a Morphe brush set. Came with four brushes, one really small blender, a large blender, a liner brush, an, an angled liner brush, and a packing brush. I used two of them. I used these two yesterday, so I'm gonna use I don't know if I'll use that angled liner brush today, but I'm gonna try and use all four of these today with the other eye primer and eyeshadow palette that I received. This one retails for $12 for the set, and that's not really surprising. Morphe is very reasonably priced, and almost all of my brushes are Morphe, and I love Morphe brushes, so any extra Morphe brushes that I receive, I'm all about that life. Okay, so those are all the items that I received, so I'm gonna total it up really quick and see of my $25 that I spent how much this box is actually worth. I spent $25 on the standard box. The total retail value of everything that I got is $155. Essentially, I just got $130 worth of, you know, free product. So always nice. Very excited to try these things because like I have said, there are tons of things that I have received from BoxyCharm that are part of my everyday routine. Let's go ahead and jump into this look. You will notice I do have eyebrows on already and I have not primed. I wanted to prime like right before I put concealer on. So I am going to go ahead and prime and then we will jump into the items from this month's box. Today, I am going to do three steps of priming. I am going to use the, to start, I'm gonna use the Wander Beauty Glow Ahead Illuminating Face Oil. This is an item that I received in BoxyCharm three months ago. It is, it, I just like it. It just, it feels really good on the skin. I think my only complaint is that it smells like roses. I mean, strong like roses. So, I mean, if you do not like, if you do not like the smell of roses, veer way clear of this. The liquid itself does have a little bit of a shimmer in it, but once you apply it to the skin, it completely disappears. I'm sure that's why they call it an illuminating product, but I just like it because I like it. I think it adds a little more moisture to the skin before you start applying products to it. 
So next I'm gonna go into my two tried and true primers. If you want to see some of my tried and true favorites and why I love them so much, you can check it out right up here in one of my previous videos. So we're gonna go ahead and jump into these two. The e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer for the center area of my face. And then this also is a BoxyCharm item that I received. God, I don't know. A year, two years, a long, long time ago, and I still have probably more than half a bottle because you need the tiniest little amount and this stuff is fantastic. If you've seen my other videos, you'll know I use it on my under eyes and it is very illuminating and I love it. So I'm going to go ahead and jump into those two really quick and then we can get started. My next step is going to be my concealer because if you have been on my channel ever in your life before, you know I don't wear foundation. That's okay, we're moving on from that drama. Because of the the fact, like I mentioned, the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer is very, very bright. I'm going to put that here in my inner corner and maybe just a little bit further inward and then I'm going to use my Tarte Shape Tape to kind of do the rest of it. I will say that Tarte is definitely a pink undertone where the Too Faced Born This Way is more of a yellowy undertone. All right, it's fairly negligible. All right, today I'm using my beauty blender and I'm gonna go and blend it out. There is concealer. I will say that I really do like the finish of the Too Faced that is kind of by itself here in the inner corner. It claims to be a skin-like natural finish. Makeup hybrid? Anyways, so I do like the finish of that. It's not too matte. It looks really nice on the skin. I don't know if it likes my primer so much, but that might be my primer's fault. <sighs> Let's go on to the next step. I'm gonna go ahead and prime my eyelids using the Thank Me Later eyeshadow primer. So this one says to apply to the eye and then let dry fully. I often prefer a wet base, so we will see how this works. Okay, now I'm gonna take that eyeshadow primer and apply it to the eyelids. Shadow primer does not like the concealer at all. Oh boy. So now we have our primer on. It is time for the fun part. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and jump into my Essentials 2 by Violet Voss. I think I'm gonna go ahead and play it a little safe today so that I can kind of. There is an aqua shade right here that has like a really pretty shift to it. I don't know if it's gonna pick up on camera, but I really want to use that color. So I think for starters, I'm gonna go in with this shade, the lightest matte in the palette, which is called beige. And then the next color over after that, which is called clay. And I'm gonna do both of those in my crease to get us started. As I start to go into those transition shades, I am gonna use the larger blending brush from that set of Morphe brushes I got. Okay, so that is the beige color set down in the crease. 
seems to be blending pretty well. So I'm gonna go and do that on the other side. Okay, so I've got that beige color all set down. Now I'm gonna use the exact same brush and I'm gonna go into clay. Okay, so I think next what I'm going to do is I am going to go into that aqua color in the middle here. like this kind of like brownish warmy coppery aqua thing we've got going on so I think for the outside of the lid I am going to go in with this copper color and apply that with my finger as well that those complement each other really, really well. I am gonna go ahead and take my initial blending brush and go ahead and just kind of blend out the edges at the top a little bit. Next, I'm gonna work on the bottom lash line. I think I'm gonna go directly in with the clay shade on the bottom lash line and I think I'm gonna use the rose gold shade that is right here. It looks kind of pink on camera but it's much more close to rose gold on my inner corner for my highlight and to do that I'm going to use the smaller blending brush that came in the Morphe set. Okay, so the bottom lash line is pretty subtle. I kind of like it. It's okay. I'm gonna leave it how it is. Next, I'm gonna go into that middle rose gold shade and do my inner corner with that color. Very pink. Okay, I don't like that. So I didn't put very much on so I can go ahead and put something else over on top of it, thank goodness, because that, that pink, I don't know if you can kind of pick up that shimmer that it has, that pink is way too pink for the teal that it is next to. I'm gonna go in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills and Amorizi highlighter and try that instead and hopefully that will cover up the pink. That's way better. Don't get me wrong, I do like that pink shade. I did not like that as the inner corner highlight for this look. Eyes look good. I'm gonna go ahead and jump off camera, do some liner and lashes, and I'll be right back. Now I have lashes on, top and bottom mascara. It is my favorite Smashbox super fan mascara, in case you've been living under a rock and don't know the same mascara I use every single time. Let's go ahead and move on to face stuff. So I'm gonna start with blush. I mean, I don't know what to tell you guys. I love this because of the fact that this very first shade is so fair and cool toned that it doesn't make me look like a clown. So there's that. And you know, in case you didn't see last month, this also came from BoxyCharm in July this year. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my Ace Beauty Blush in Paradise because I love it. Okay, maybe I got just a teeny bit little overzealous. Blush is done. Now we can move on to could do some contour. Maybe we should contour today. Why don't we contour today? Okay, I am using my NYX Three Steps to Sculpt. Next, I'm 
next we can do the highlight and you know how I hate highlighter all right I'm gonna use my Juvia's Place the tribe volume 3 Next is lips, and this is the last item from my August boxy charm. It was this Tristique matte lip crayons, and I am very concerned because all of these look incredibly pink, and that is not. I'm I'm just gonna swatch all of these for you really quick. Here are swatches of all five, six, six of the colors, and you can tell from looking at them that they are all very blue undertoned, very pink, and pink is really not, not going to work with this color scheme. I think I'm just going to have to go with the most nude of the bunch, even though I think actually this one is a little too warm. So I can't win for losing. So I'm gonna go ahead and put on the lightest one and potentially a gloss. We will see, I, d I don't know, I don't know. Ask me in 10 minutes and I'll let you know. All right, let's do this. very orange to me. It's just so orangey. I think I found the item that I don't like this month. I'm gonna try and add some of my Coven lip gloss in the shade Yule. I don't know. I think that's a little better. I think that darkened it a little bit. Still just looks really orange to me. I'm just gonna try a different color. don't mind this color but I really don't like this color with this eye look what are we gonna do we're gonna change it again we're gonna try this one more time this is liquid lipstick by Juvia's Place in the shade Nina and this is the metallic formula I love the color and the payoff of Juvia's Place liquid lipsticks the smell is awful we're just going to hold our breath through this. So what I ended up doing for the lips was taking that Juvia's Place liquid lipstick in the shade Mina and then over top of it in the center of the lips I went back into the Violet Voss Essentials 2 and I put some of this this blue violet shade right over the top so it gives it kind of this cool sheen in the middle that I love. Okay, so I think we can do some setting spray and then we will be all done. Has anybody else noticed that you kind of have to like hold this down and like slowly do it? 
I'm lazy. I don't want to do that. I have used that setting spray before, but I really did not enjoy that just now. It was like too wet. I could actually feel like drops on my face. No thank you. Last thing I need is some fucking setting spray coming in here and ruin my goddamn makeup. So I think that about covers BoxyCharm August 2020. I did really enjoy some of the products that I received. I think the one definite no for me is this Tristique Matte Liquid, no, Matte Lip Crayon Set. And they are six minis and this mini set costs $58, I think. $58 for this thing. And honestly, it wasn't that comfortable. They're, I mean, I guess they're pretty. I don't know. I just didn't really like them very much. So that one for sure, way overpriced if you ask me and did not like the texture or the feel. So those are a big no for me. The Morphe brushes were fantastic. Morphe brushes are always fantastic. So no surprise there. I loved the Violet Voss. I think that this look is really pretty. The shimmers look really great. They have a nice sheen to them. They're not foil, but I didn't try to wet the brush and apply them. So you never know, that might be even better. But I really like the look that I came up with today. And I think this kind of like teal copper with the purple lip, I think it's fun. And of course my favorite lip is a dark lip. What are you gonna do? So clearly I struggled with the lips today, but I think it's really cool that even though I kind of like went outside of the box to get a liquid lipstick going, I went into that Violet Boss shadow and kind of incorporated that eyeshadow in the middle, the center of the lips. So did really enjoy that. I think so far, so good. I mean, the eyeshadow primer is holding up. I did have to stop in the middle of this video to go have a Zoom meeting with my boss and my boss's boss, so those are always fun. And I don't have any creasing on the eyelids at this point. The concealer is holding up really nicely. It is not, I mean, I don't have any creasing. I think it still looks, I think it still looks really good. I am excited to continue using the concealer, the eyeshadow primer for sure. The Morphe brushes will go in with the rest of my collection, as all Morphe brushes should. And I am really excited with the stuff that I got in my box this month. And I know that all of these things, aside from the lip crayons, are gonna be part of my normal routine. I know for sure I will get a ton of use out of them. So, BoxyCharm August 2020, success. Definitely a happy customer and super excited for next month. So I know that this month's theme was kind of this like fun summery thing. I don't really like summer. Um, you don't live in a desert and love summer. That's not a possibility. You must hate summer. It's necessary. Don't, don't kid yourself. Do you live in a desert? You hate summer. Don't lie to me. Anyways, this is the finished look. I hope that you guys enjoyed this BoxyCharm unboxing for August and the look that I came up with using all of the items in the box this month. Sometimes there's like skincare in there, so I don't always get to try all of them on video with you guys, but this month was awesome because it was all makeup. So I hope you guys enjoyed it and don't forget before you leave to like, subscribe, and leave me a comment down below. See you next time, witches.